welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, thank you for joining. Today's video is gonna be another styling video. So last week I did 2020 summer trends and obviously shorts is a big part of summer fashion and summer styling. And that also goes into spring and fall, of course, too. So I wanted to do a video on styling shorts. So for today, I'm just gonna go over a couple of different ways that I like to dress my shorts. I like to dress my shorts, that sounds weird. So I'm gonna go over a couple of different ways that I like to style my shorts. And there's gonna be a ton of variety in here as per usual because if you don't already know, my style is kind of all over the board. So yeah, I'm excited to share this new styling video with you guys. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you can catch my videos every week. And also I love hearing your guys' video requests in my comments, so keep them coming. And thank you guys for all your sweet comments all the time. It really makes my day. Other than that, I think we're pretty much ready to get into styling some shorts. For the first way, I'm going to show you guys how I like to style shorts. It's going to be pretty classic and simple, but with like a little bit of a twist. So basically going off the idea of jeans and a tee kind of vibe. This is that sort of traditional classic version of styling shorts, but instead of jeans and a tee, it's shorts and a tank for me. Still really basic and simple, super easy, and you should have all of these things in your closet closet to some variation already. So I went in with a pair of denim shorts because I feel like those are obviously so easy to style. Everybody has them, they're such a good staple. And I like a mom fit of denim shorts right now. So this pair is like a high-waisted, a little bit baggy cuffed fit. They're super cute. I actually got a size 25 in these, so I sized up one and I wish I sized up two sizes because I wanted them a little bit baggier, but it is what it is. For the tank top, I'm just using a super simple, plain, classic white tank top. This one is from Urban Outfitters and any tank top like this will do. I like it to be a little bit cropped because I feel like it works best with my proportions to do that, but it doesn't have to be cropped by any means. And then to just style it up a little bit, I wanted to throw on like an overshirt because I love that trend. It's one of the things I talked about in my summer trends video. And I feel like it just adds to the look. It makes it like really comfy. And I think adding a layer to any outfit just really ups it. So I like to throw that on. And then I'm just using a black handbag, super classic, chic, and then a pair of sneakers. So I have my Adidas Superstars and they're just like super comfy, OG, love them, really easy, casual laid back style. So I think that this is just like such an easy classic outfit with a couple of little elements to just dress it up a little bit. It's a perfect casual everyday outfit. And the next way I'm gonna show you guys that I like to style shorts is similar to what I do with sweats. So if you've seen my sweat styling video, I like to call them chic sweats. So here I'll be calling these chic shorts. And basically it's just the idea of sort of elevating your shorts and making them a little bit dressier and chicer than you normally would because typically when I style shorts, it's really casual and laid back. But for this case, I just wanted to sort of polish it off a little bit. So the pair of shorts that I have are actually thrifted from my grandma's closet, which is so fun and so cool. I don't even know off the top of my head where you could purchase shorts like this, but thrifting is obviously always a great option. I wanna say like Revolve or Naked. I think that those would be good options for sort of this like, it's almost like a short suit vibe. And then to pair that with the top, I chose one of these muscle tees that I also talked about in my summer trends video because I'm obsessed with these shirts. I have them in so many colors and I wear them so many different things. So here I paired it with the shorts because I feel like it's a really clean cut, classy top. It's also just really comfortable and really wearable. I feel so comfortable in it because it like doesn't show cleavage or anything, which I love. And I think the structure of the sleeves is a really nice element and it kind of dresses it up and makes Makes it chic. It's a little bit masculine too, which if you don't know, I love that. Then to sort of top it off with top it off with accessories. I paired it with my vintage Fendi baguette, which I feel like is just a classic chic bag that goes with everything. Since the rest of the outfit is a little bit masculine, I threw on heels, which I don't normally wear, but it worked so well for the chic outfit, so I had to make an exception. And then a pair of little black sunnies too. I feel like just seals the deal. You're good to go. I feel so chic, but also comfortable in this outfit, which I love. And I think it's perfect for if you're going out to brunch or doing something fun 
run with your girlfriends. It's not like so dressy. I wouldn't wear this to a wedding or something, but it is a little bit dressy, but still casual. So I love that. Okay, next I'm gonna be styling some sweat shorts, which I also talked about in my summer trends video. So as we all know, sweats have been huge this year and we've all loved them. And now that it's summer, I'm just transitioning my sweats into sweat shorts. So I have this white pair from Boohoo that I love. I think they're amazing. They're such a good price. They're like $10. They do sell out a lot, so I'll link them and hopefully they're in stock when you guys click. But basically just like a little pair of sweat shorts. They could be any style, I mean, any color. It's just a good basic to have in your closet. They pair with so many things and in my last video, I paired them with a crop top, so I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a different variation this time. So I think a bodysuit also looks really good with the sweat short style. It's just like a clean, seamless look. And I wore a black bodysuit because the shorts are white and I wanted a little bit of contrast. And then again, just to like add a layer and another element to the outfit, I threw on a little overshirt because I'm just so into them. They're so comfy and baggy and cool. This one that I have here is actually vintage, but they have these so many places and they're always really good vintage finds. So if you find one thrifting, definitely snag it. And then just to keep that like nice and casual, a little bit athleisure vibes, I paired it with a pair of Nike Air Monarchs, which are so comfy, really cute. I love them for like a edgy boyish street style look. So that's super simple, comfy outfit. And it's just like a different way to wear shorts than would normally come to mind for me at first. I just always think denim shorts at first, but I am definitely working in more sweat shorts to my wardrobe because hello, it's so comfy. All right, next I wanted to show you guys a fun way to dress up shorts and here I'll be styling denim shorts because as I mentioned, that's just what comes into mind first for shorts always. So I know we all have denim shorts and we're always gonna wear denim shorts. Instead of just styling them super casual and simple, I wanted to show a fun way to dress them up. So again, I paired these with a bodysuit just because it's a really clean, easy way. I love that bodysuits just look so perfectly tucked in all the time. So this is a Zara bodysuit, the halter bodysuit, I think it's called. It's just a staple, an absolute must. And then these shorts are actually from a different haul I did and they're Levi's and I'm obsessed with them. I think they're my favorite pair of shorts this summer. I actually just ordered them in black and they haven't come yet, but I'm really excited for them because the fit and the quality is so good and they're pretty reasonably priced as well. So they fit true to size. I got my normal size if anything I think I could size down if I wanted them to be like more tight on the waist but they're so comfy the way they are it's just like a clean classic look with a seamless bodysuit and then some like long line denim shorts that fit you just right to dress that up a little bit more I just threw on a neutral colored blazer over it which I feel like is such a chic and simple way to add to that I just did some fun heels. These ones are from Zara and I've been waiting to style these. I've seen them all over Instagram. I think every blogger has them and for good reason because they're such a cool design. So just like a fun little heel. I love a square toed heel right now. And then to make it like chic and dressed up, I think a clutch is always such a good handbag for that instead of like a crossbody or a little like handle bag. I think a clutch is just so chic and dressed up for some reason. So I have this one. It looks like a dumpling and I think it's super cute. So the style of bag is popular, but it just always reminds me of a dumpling when I see it, which is cute. Yeah, so I think that's just like a fun and easy way to sort of make your denim shorts a little dressed up if you have somewhere slightly fancy to go. All right, and then I wanted to show you guys how I style denim shorts in an edgy way because I love edgy fashion and it's just such a go-to look for me. I feel so comfortable when I'm wearing something that's a little bit on the edgier side. So for that, I picked a pair of black denim. This is also a really good pair of shorts that I got this year. These are from Urban Outfitters and they are from BDG. So I always size up at least one size in BDG, which is what I did here. And these fit perfectly. They're super comfy, high-waisted. They have a little bit of distressing on the hem, which is so cute. And it's perfect for edgy. And then super simple styling for the rest. I just threw on a big oversized t-shirt, like a band t-shirt, which is like this outfit is so comfortable to wear. I feel so myself in it. And it's super cute too. So I like to tuck that in, give the look a little bit of body, or you could just tuck in like one side if you want it to be even more relaxed, which I also really like the look of. And then for shoes, I did my 
my Doc Martens because they're just like such a classy, edgy pair of shoes. And I also think that boots are so cute with shorts. So if you ever don't know what shoes to pair with your shorts, don't sleep on boots. For a handbag with that, I just popped on one of my Prada shoulder bags because they're just like one of my go-tos, perfect for edgy looks and a very resilient little bag too. It's a good material to have a nice bag made out of. All right, and then I had to throw in a pair of biker shorts because I'm a huge fan of biker shorts and I'm going to do a video eventually on ways just to style them, but I didn't want you guys to forget about them when you're going to style shorts, so I had to slip them in here. Basically, I love biker shorts because they're so comfy and they're super versatile. So this pair that I have here is actually from Forever 21 of all places, which I feel like is so random because the quality of them and the fit is actually so good and they were probably like ten dollars probably like the easiest most go-to way for styling biker shorts for me is just an oversized top so here i picked an oversized t-shirt this is like a band tee from urban outfitters and i wear it all the time it's so easy to style with biker shorts so comfy and to dress it up a little bit i like to throw on some sort of jacket i really like wearing faux leather jackets with biker shorts so this is my misguided one that I'm obsessed with I think it's like such a good cut it's like a boyfriend cut faux leather jacket and I got it in a size US 4 it fits perfectly it's just like a comfy oversized laid-back look it's edgy I love all that about it and then to keep it just like really classic and simple I also just threw on my Air Force ones which is an absolute go-to pair of shoes and then a little shoulder bag a little black shoulder bag I style this in every styling video because it's an absolute absolute must for my closet and these are like a Hailey Bieber Celine glasses dupe that is so good from Amazon I will obviously link them and everything else in the description box but this is just such a good pair of sunglasses for a look like this that's sort of like edgy laid back street style so this look is really easy to style and really easy to wear okay and then lastly I wanted to throw in one more pair of sweat shorts as I mentioned to you guys I'm really trying to make them a big part of my wardrobe. So I just wanted to show one more way that I style those and that's basically in a set because lots of websites have cute sweatshort sets right now and it's so easy to grab a set because it's already styled for you pretty much. I love when things are matching but also the same exact material and the same exact color it just looks so clean and it just feels so right to me so this little blue set that i have is from storettes it's super simple it's just a crew neck and sweat shorts with pockets but it's so comfy and you can style it a couple of different ways with your shoes and accessory and hairstyle and everything so i just went for like a sort of laid back casual athleisure look so i paired it with some dad sneakers from new balance it looks great with like a tote or a little shoulder bag again throw your hair up in a claw clip it's just like a perfect casual weekend outfit so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed all this styling and as i mentioned before definitely share your video requests and i will add them to my list and as always thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all your sweet comments and i'll see you in my next video